as we can see recently within Warner Brothers Discovery and DC Entertainment, there has been a lot of turnover, a lot of confusion, not much communication has happened from them over the past couple of years. Now, of course, I do always say this with David Zaslav now changing things in Warner Brothers. Hopefully all of our concerns start to change and things hopefully will become relatively better within Warner Brothers and DC Entertainment and the content we receive from them. One of our biggest concerns about DC, especially if you're a DC fan, superhero fan, Batman, Superman fan, whatever it might be is simply that there is no consistency. There's no understanding of the wider world they're trying to build. It just seems after Justice League, they've kind of just been randomly trying things and seeing if it works. Now, hopefully this doesn't last too much longer and things do change where we follow one story. But I was thinking to myself the other day, what if I was in charge of Warner Brothers DC? What if I was the Kevin Feige of the DC universe? And for some reason, I started to think about what would my team ups look like? Because that's one big thing about DC too, is we don't really have team ups in the wider DC cinematic universe. We had the Justice League and that didn't last long at all. Ben Affleck's gone. Things are still up in the air for Henry Cavill. Gal Al Gadot seems to only take part in her solo films. Ray Fisher as Cyborg is more than likely never gonna happen again. The two recurring people we've seen every now and then has been Jason Momoa and Ezra Miller doing their own solo films but also appearing in different projects and who knows what's gonna happen with Ezra Miller because that is also up in the air. Very different from Henry Cavill though whereas Ezra Miller could potentially lose his job. So with that being said, here I am a Kevin Feige of the DC Universe. Warner Brothers says to me, you have 12 years to get from the beginning of a DC Universe to the end. And really, it wouldn't be the end. It would just be the end of the massive threat they would have been facing from the beginning of this universe. The same way Kevin Feige was given about 10 to 12 years to start from Iron Man 1 and go all the way to Avengers Endgame. My first threat in my DC cinematic universe would be Darkseid. You could do many different characters. Darkseid, Brainiac, anti-monitor. I just think Darkseid is the ultimate villain in DC. He is the villain that you want these prime superheroes to go up against. This is the villain you want to see Batman and Superman and Wonder Woman. You want to see them go up against Darkseid. So in a 12-year movie universe span in which I would call the Darkseid War, what would my Justice League team look like and even beyond that? Because I would stretch further into the DC universe and create other Justice League teams. There is a solid four or five different groups of heroes that I would like to involve in this 12 year span of a DC cinematic universe and even moving forward if it continued after the dark side war which in my mind it would because there's no end to superhero stories. Now keep in mind this is something that could change at any time. I could look at this list six months from now and be like nah I want to change these characters up. I mean this is not my 100% confirmed list. But when I look at these teams, I like them. I like the diversity of them and I like the power scaling of them. I like the characters and the personalities and all the traits that come within these teams. The Justice League. Who would be in a Justice League team? That should be generally obvious. Although I do have one character who will be part of this team for a decent amount of time, that might surprise people. So my Justice League is Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Wally West, Green Lantern, Jon Stewart, Martian Manhunter, and Zatanna. Let me start with Flash and Green Lantern because the rest of the characters are obvious. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman need to be in it. Flash, Green Lantern, in my opinion, need to be in it. But why Wally and why Jon Stewart? Mainly because 
I grew up with the animated Justice League cartoon. That is who my Justice League has always been growing up, reading comics, watching movies and TV shows, it's always been them. Also too, Martian Manhunter, I feel like he is a very, very underrated character and he would certainly be a character part of a Justice League. Maybe it is because of the animated universe, but I can't picture a Justice League team without him, so he's got to be part of it. And then, of course, the big one I mentioned at the end of the team was Zatanna. Zatanna is not often part of the main core of the Justice League members. If anything, she's part of Justice League Dark or Justice Society. You could also say, well, you could have just gone straight with the animated universe and used Hawkgirl as your seventh member. I like Hawkgirl. I think she is a great character. My thing about her, though, is I think if you have Wonder Woman in the group, already, you don't necessarily need a hawk girl part of that same team, so you save her for something else. Zatanna is in it because when I look at all forms of the Justice League, each character is coming from a different realm of superheroes that we all love. Batman is the human side of things. Superman is the alien god side of things. Wonder Woman is a Greek goddess. If you have Cyborg in your team, he's all about technology and science. If you like the ocean and you like fish and you like superheroes that divulge in that, you got Aquaman. Each Justice League character gives you a taste of many different superhero worlds. That's why the Justice League is very fun and very entertaining. The one thing that the Justice League misses, at at least from the main Justice League team, is a magic user. I thought it would be cool to have Zatanna part of the team and have a magic user part of the main Justice League team. Now, there would absolutely be turnover in my superhero team-ups. Certain characters would leave groups and join other teams or create new leagues, and that's exactly what happens here with my next team lineup, Justice League Dark. A part of Justice League Dark, I would have Zatanna, Doctor Fate, Constantine, Swamp Thing, Dead Man, Madame Xanadu, and Etrigan. Now, what I would do in my cinematic universe of films is eventually down the line, Zatanna would leave the Justice League and she would form a new Justice League Dark. And within that team, they are more centered around magic or the supernatural presence. And part of that team, you have fan favorite characters like Dr. Fate or like Constantine. Within the DC fandom, there are a lot of hardcore fans for those specific characters. There's no way they can't be in a Justice League team. And I also threw Etrigan in that team as well. I do know he's more of an anti-hero. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's bad. I've always liked Etrigan when he was a good guy, or maybe just more on the good side. I'm not full out saying he needs to be a hero, but as long as he somewhat fights for that side, I've always liked that version of him, and that's why he's in the team. Now, of course, if Zatanna is one of the headliners for Justice League Dark, and she was also in Justice League, when she leaves Justice League, what would I do? That's really easy. I would just replace her with Aquaman. That is something else I would do in my movie universe. Aquaman would not be a beginning hero to the DC Cinematic Universe. Aquaman would be a character who has been living in Atlantis, who has been king of Atlantis, who knows of his human heritage, and only makes himself known when the time is right. And just like every DC Universe, you need a Justice Society. And there is more turnover here. So who would be part of my Justice Society? Well, I would have Martian Manhunter, Green Lantern Jon Stewart, Shazam, Green Arrow, Black Canary, Hawk Girl, and Adam. I like the idea of Martian Manhunter and Green Lantern becoming friends in the Justice League group and thinking to themselves that we should create another Justice League team that protects a different part of America or just in general a different part of the world. And I feel like Justice Society would be much more diverse than any of the other groups in the sense of what type of characters, abilities, 
powers and strengths rely within this group. Justice Society would potentially even be the biggest group of all the Justice League groups because it allows anyone to join. And then maybe within the society, you could get smaller pockets of groups of characters who like to work together. Because when you think about this list here, Martian Manhunter, super powerful alien. Green Lantern, the power ring, literally the power of the universe. Shazam, a supernatural magic-based Superman. Green Arrow and Black Canary, two characters who either use weapons or hand-to-hand -hand martial arts. They are also two human characters finding themselves in a very powerful group in the Justice Society. Hawk Girl bringing her into the fold instead of her in the Justice League. She kind of makes up for that Wonder Woman appearance. And then, of course, the Adam, you need to fit him in somewhere no matter how big or small he may be. Now, with with Martian Manhunter and Jon Stewart's Green Lantern gone from the Justice League, who do I replace with them? I simply replace Jon Stewart with Hal Jordan. He would make his debut in the Justice League, but I wouldn't replace anyone for Martian Manhunter. I feel like Martian Manhunter is just so powerful and so unique. There's not many characters that can fill the void of Martian Manhunter, so the Justice League would now fall to six people, which is not a bad thing at all. It just becomes an even more enclosed group with Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Wally West Flash, Hal Jordan Green Lantern, and Aquaman. Once again, these lists are not final. I could one day revise this and be like, I'm gonna add this character in there. Now, I also made a team up for the Teen Titans, which happens to be a fan favorite team amongst DC fans. And I mean, if you're making a DC cinematic universe, the Titans probably have to be there somewhere. So who would be part of my Teen Titans group? Well, this is a team that could see a ton of turnover. The older these characters get, they'll join other teams and start doing their own thing. But to begin, Again, I would have Robin, Dick Grayson, Starfire, Raven, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Donna Troy, and Superboy. Is this a very, very stacked Teen Titans team? Yeah, it is. They almost seem unbeatable when you look at some of the power they have but they are still kids, so they got a lot to learn. And like I said, the Teen Titans wouldn't necessarily last long. Maybe a couple of years, two, three years. The older they get, they go on their own route and do their own thing. For example, Dick Grayson's Robin. He would leave and become Nightwing, the savior of Bloodhaven. Raven, I always imagined her growing up, leaving the Teen Titans and joining a team like Justice League Dark. She would fit perfectly. Donna Troy grows up, gets older, learns her Amazonian power and either returns to Amazon or finds something else to do in the world. The Teen Titans would probably be the team that will continuously look different over the years. Now for fun, I also made a team up of villains, the Legion of Doom. Who would be in my Legion of Doom? And that team generally has to be anti-Justice League. All of the Justice League's biggest villains come together to fight the Justice League. So my Legion of Doom team would consist of Lex Luthor, the Joker, Gorilla Grodd, Sinestro, Cersei, Malefic, and Cheetah. The first four I mentioned are very self-explanatory, some of the biggest villains for those respective characters, especially Joker and Lex Luthor. I honestly think they are a must. I put Cersei in there, and mainly because I feel like she has been vastly underutilized in DC Comics for a very long time. Not only is she a Wonder Woman villain, but she is also a Zatanna villain. So when fighting these groups, you could see a bridge between Zatanna and Cersei and Wonder Woman and Cersei. Two people on the Justice League who have prior experience with one person on Legion of Doom. Whereas Zatanna would probably end up 
up fighting Cersei a little bit more often because of their magical abilities. That is why Cheetah is in the group where she could fight off against Wonder Woman as well. Then I also added Malefic, which I think I'm pronouncing his name right, can't really remember. Although, if you don't know who that is, he is the evil brother of Martian Manhunter. He essentially is the one who wiped out the Martian race on Mars, and he has also acted as an agent for Darkseid, which would be a very neat way to bridge this idea into the DC Cinematic Universe that Darkseid is coming to Earth and to simply get ready for the biggest, deadliest battle we've ever seen. I did consider possibly switching out Gorilla Grodd for Professor Zoom or even possibly Mirror Master, I thought would be a nice addition to the team, but I think Gorilla Grodd fits the Legion of Doom. Considering too, Lex Luthor is a genius and he's going to see in Gorilla Grodd that he is a genius as well and can be used utilized against the speed of the Flash. So there is my team-ups for Justice League teams, a Teen Titans, and a Legion of Doom. Like I said, these could change any day. Even if somehow I was actually in charge of a DC Cinematic Universe, I'm sure I would introduce other characters that would take part in these teams, or at least maybe hint that a particular character will join this team or that team sometime in the near future. Although now it is your turn to let let me know in the comments below what you think of my team-ups. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are they vastly different from your teams? Would it be similar to your DC Cinematic Universe teams? Are we somehow dead center exactly alike with one another? Let me know in the comments below what your teams would look like because I would love to know. But anyways everyone, that's all I got for you on this one and until next time, I will talk to you all very soon.